Hello everyone, it's Ms. Giblin and today we're going to talk about decimal division by finding equivalent equations. Before I start, here's a shout out to the French fries sitting and watching me as I record this. Today's learning target is I can solve a decimal division problem by finding an equivalent whole number equation. So before we start, let's review. Um, here in this problem we have 9 divided by 3. 9 is known as our dividend and 3 is known as our divisor. Another way to show division that is going to be important for today's lesson is writing division as a fraction. So we can write 9 divided by 3 as a fraction. Our dividend becomes our numerator and our divisor is our denominator. Another example, 24 divided by 6. 24 is our numerator divided by 6, our denominator. So that's going to be very useful today in our main lesson when we look at dividing decimals. So in this example, we have 7 and 2 tenths divided by 9 tenths. If we write that as a fraction, we have 7 and 2 tenths on the top divided by 9 tenths on the bottom. So as you look at this problem right now, you're probably confused. What do I do with these decimal points? So the easiest way to deal with them is to get rid of them. And we are going to get rid of them by finding an equivalent whole number equation. And we are going to use our knowledge of multiplying by the powers of 10 to help us do that. Okay, so writing 7 and 2 tenths divided by 9 tenths as a fraction doesn't really help us yet. What we need to do is find an equivalent fraction where these decimals are removed. So a couple of days ago, we learned that if we multiply by a multiple of 10, it moves the decimal place or the, the numbers shift up a place value. So if we multiply by 10, this decimal will move one place and it will become 72. Because this is seven and two tenths, I only need to multiply by 10 because if I, I only need to move it one place. Same thing for the bottom. If you read this decimal, it's 9 tenths. So I only need to multiply by 10. When I multiply 9 tenths by 10, I get the whole number 9. So now my equivalent whole number fraction or division problem is 72 divided by 9. And 72 divided by 9, we all know, is equal to, Daniel, 8. Thank you, Daniel, for your help. So to review, we started with the problem 7 and 2 tenths divided by 9. We wrote it as a fraction, 7 and 2 tenths divided by 9 tenths. We then multiplied both the top and the bottom by 10. Remember, to find an equivalent fraction, you have to multiply by a fraction equal to 1. So it has to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number. Otherwise, it would not be equivalent. So we're multiplying by 10 over 10. When we multiply 7 and 2 tenths by 10, we get 72. When we multiply 9 tenths by 10, we get 9. So our equivalent whole number equation is 72 divided by 9 equals 8. So let's look at another example. Here we have 1 and 44 hundredths divided by 12 hundredths. So my first step is going to be to write it as a fraction. 1 and 44 hundredths divided by 12 hundredths. So in this example, our decimal is in the hundredths place. If I were to just multiply it by 10 to remove it, it wouldn't be enough because then we would still have the decimal 1 and 4 tenths. Because it's in the hundredth place, I need to multiply by 100. When I multiply it by 100, it is going to move it two places. Remember, for every 10 you multiply it by, every multiple of 10, it moves one place. So times 10 would move the decimal once, times 100 would move the decimal twice. So when I multiply 1 and 44 hundredths by 100, you would get 144. Now I need to do the same thing to the denominator, because remember, we need to multiply by an equivalent, a fraction equal to 1, 
to make an equivalent fraction. So the top has to be multiplied by the same thing as the bottom. So 12 hundredths, when I multiply it by 100, I'm going to get 12 because the decimal is going to move around two places. One would be one tenth and one and two tenths. If I multiply it by 100, it's going to move two places, one, two. The decimal would be here next to the two, and we would have 12. So now our equivalent whole number problem is 144 divided by 12, which is? Well, okay, let's look at another example. Here we have 5 and 6 tenths divided by 70 hundredths. So first I'm going to start by writing the division problem as a fraction. 5 and 6 tenths divided by 70 hundredths. So here's a little bit of a different problem. In the numerator, the decimal is in the tenths place. In the denominator, the decimal is in the hundredths place. We have two decimal places. You, in these cases, have to look at which place has more, and that's what you're going to multiply by. So here, because this is the hundredths place, and this is the tenths place, the one that has more decimal places is the hundredths place. So that means we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by a hundred. Five and six tenths multiplied by a hundred is 560. Seventy hundredths multiplied by a hundred is 70. So our new whole number problem or equivalent equation, our whole number equivalent equation is 560 divided by 7. 560 divided by 70 is 8. So our answer to 5 and 6 tenths divided by 70 hundredths would be 8. So 560 divided by 70 is our equivalent equation and our answer is so to review, in this lesson, you learned decimal division by finding equivalent equations. You learned how to solve a decimal division problem by finding an equivalent whole number equation. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.